Pat Scully, thanks very much for joining us on Aircom.net. Talk to me a little bit about your pre-season. How's it gone? It's gone very well. It's gone very well. I think um, probably this window has been our most successful window, as in towards the players we wanted to get in. Um, we kind of struggled at the start of last season, and even in July we maybe didn't get the calibre of player that I felt we really needed. But this, this window has been very, very good for us. We, we were lucky enough to move early to get the likes of Stephen Rice, um, Sean O'Connor, Darren McGuire, uh, Desi Baker, Pat Flynn, who are all experienced Premier League players, be it the young, 23, kind of been their average age, but Desi and Dara especially, who are around the kind of 29 to 30 mark and have won leagues, have won cups, been in cup finals. And we, we have a young team, so it's important that, that young players can look up and learn from that experience of what those two players will bring to us. So it's gone very well. I'm very, very happy where we are at the moment. The pre season has gone extremely well, as in towards the way the lads have trained and the games have gone very, very well. Um, I think pre season is mostly just to get your point across exactly what you want to do, and, and the players have, have to be very receptive to that. You know, they've worked very hard and they've, they've been eager to learn. They've been very, very hungry as in towards the training and the games. So, I mean, the most important thing now is just to build into it and get ready for the game next Saturday against Strata. You say you're trying to get a point across. What are you trying to get across them in the pre season? What's your, you know, your own viewpoint? Well, look, obviously, it's, it's how you want to play. You know, the patterns of what you want the, the team to perform on the pitch, obviously, how people behave off the pitch, um, the standards. That you expect from players in the team, um, and their standards are very, very high at a football club. You know, it's a, it's not a kind of have a laugh and a joke. Mickey Mouse kind of a football club. It's a very serious football club, and um, we're very serious in what we're doing. We're very professional in what we're doing, and uh, the players have all talked to that. It's been a, uh, not a difficult, exciting couple of years over the last few. And what's the future holding? It's been a very good um, couple of years. I think from from where we started off. Um, you know, it, it's gone very well. As we won the first division, um, we've been in contention to the to the semi-finals of the League Cup and the FA Cup. We've been in contention to win the Premier League last year, but I'll be at the last probably seven games. Um, so we, we've made good strides. We're, we're constantly trying to improve the club um, as well as the team, and which I think we've done that as well. Um, so I mean, the thing is, we, we keep progressing and we keep getting better and better. As it's, it's going to be very very difficult um, next year, but if we're to be successful, you know, the players and the club. You know, we just have to set the standards that are there, and once we do that, I'm very confident we can be successful next year. People are kind of mentioning the name Rovers. They're kind of getting there, knocking. Is that you see it really fighting for the position? The oh tops? yeah, I think last year I think people were extremely disrespectful to us. Um, you know, when I said we were our aim was to try and win the league, you know, people kind of dismissed it and said we were going to struggle and we were going to we were going to be kind of relegation material. Like, and when we weren't, when we when we weren't. We got very little praise for it, and then when we when we did fall away at the end of the season, and it was only down to the fact of, you know, crippling injuries, where we, we went into the last kind of games with our captain who had missed nearly all the season, you know, we got suspensions to to three over back four, and you know we just don't have the squad that can carry that. We had to play eighteen year olds who just weren't ready for it. So I mean I think people were very disrespectful to us through the through the entire season, but um, that's not important to us. We know what we want to do, we know where we want to go. And it's not really too important to us what people say about us or what people think we can do. It's more important what I know what we're capable of doing. I believe the players have bought into what we're trying to do. I think they're excited by the challenge of it. And uh, that's all that matters, really. Once, once we're together, players and, and management, which probably wasn't the case last year, um, I said some players can be frightened when you, when you want. You know, they'd, they'd rather have the easy option of saying, look, let's just stay up. You know, we wanted to achieve something last year, and some players took to that, and some players didn't. Confident in your competitive then looking ahead into the season? I'm always confident. I'm very confident in my own ability as a manager. Um, I'm very confident that if, if players um, stick to what we're trying to do and, uh, and are professional in everything that I ask them to be, then I think we have a great chance of being successful because I think we have some fantastic... I think we probably have the best young players and the best young team in the league. We don't have the money that obviously other clubs have, but money is not the most important thing, it's the players. And if, if, if we've got the best young players, we always have a chance. Best luck for the season. Hope all goes well. Thanks very much for joining us on Aircom.net. Pat Scully. Pleasure.